Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Juliana and today I'm going to do a review video of a very special book format um, book format <laughs> and I wanted to read this one for a very long time and as you probably may be understanding by now from the um, book reviews that I've been releasing through the month of, month of October I'm not really endeavoring in unknown territory so I'm quite in the classics shall we say from the genre uh, but I'm doing that because for myself I didn't have the re experience of reading them and I have been wanting to read them for a very long time so this is one of that those type of books and I'm talking about a manga uh, and this is by Junji Ito and this is probably the most well-known manga from him and I'm talking about Uzumaki uh, that by Junji Ito as you can see the name of the author for a very long time I thought is it was Jun Jun Jito but no it's Junji Ito <laughs> uh, and Uzumaki is the occidentalized is that a word so this is the word in Japanese for spiral or whirl whirl pull we're pulled, right? But it's more like the spiral. At least I read this in an um, English edition. And I think here in Portugal we don't have Uzumaki translated. I think we only have Tomie and another one. So Uzumaki, I had to bought it or to buy it, I'm sorry, in English and to read it in English. But it's really easy, so don't be discouraged. Uh, but it's really easy to read in English you will understand it very easily and this is the three I think they are three three volumes in one so this is the deluxe edition and as you can see this has patterns behind the title so this is girls with very long hair in a in a spiral can you see it and behind it's really not really you can't really understand what it is unless you read the manga but as you can see this is the back and here is the lateral I don't know how you call it <laughs> I'm sorry so as you can see I'm very excited because I really loved it so okay this is a kind of a spoiler so but well Uzumaki was a manga written again by Junji Ito and this was published in 2000 at least the first edition I think the English edition was published in 2002 I, I was uh, researching for Junji Ito to talk to you a bit about the author let me check <laughs> I'm going to leave a picture of him right here so for you to have an idea of the person that's not really important but I like to to see the faces of the others for some reason uh, and he was born in July 31st of 1963 and is a Japanese horror manga artist Junji Ito began his experience in the horror world at a very young age. His two older sisters read Umezu and Jinchi Koga in a magazine and consequently he began reading them too. He grew up in the countryside in a small city next to Nagano. 
in the house where he lived, the bathroom was at the end of an underground tunnel where there were spiders, spider crickets, and such experiences were later reflected in his works. Ito began to draw manga at the age of four. Can you imagine? Um, taking inspiration from the works he read in magazines. He continued to draw as a hobby until he, become, he became a dental technician in 84, where he struggled to find a balance between the two. In 87, he submitted a short story to Monthly Halloween that won an honorable mention in the Kazuo Omezo Prize, with Omezo himself as one of the judges. This story ran for 13 years and was later serialized as Tomie. So it says more, but he won very, very, much, very uh, many many awards and along the years he was considered to be um, reference in the horror genre in this format mangas so you know you can go research for um, many mangas by him and you probably heard of it or some of them throughout your life Uzumaki being at least for me one of the most famous ones by him. So, what do we have in Uzumaki? We began the manga. Can you see? This is so beautiful, right? So, this is Kiri, this girl here. And this is Suchi. This is Kiri Goshima and Suichi Saito. Both teenagers who attend high school and live in Koruzo Cho. So Kiri, well, this is kind of creepy. This is, uh, so Kiri goes to the high school of the city, Koruzo, but Suiji or Suichi uh, goes to a high, uh, high school outside of the city because Suichi is very... He doesn't like the city where he lives or where they live. Coruso. Talking to Kitty, he tells her that the city where they live in makes him sick, that there is something in the air that sickens him. So, so we have here, so as usual, as usual in every manga, I think, I think that's, that is like this in every manga. The first few pages are in color, but the next part or the chunk of the story is in black and white. So as you can see, this is the content. And as you can see, this is the first page of the manga and is very color colorful. And we have here Kiri introducing herself and introducing us to the story. So she begins to say, This is Koruso Chu, where I grew up. I would like to share with you, and she goes on, the strange events that took place here. And this is the first chapter, the spiral obsession. So as you can see, and then it shows this page colorful. And as you can see, the grass is kind of, it's all in spirals. Can you see? And then she goes on to say her name and that she attends uh, Kuruzo High School and that her father is a potter or a ceramist or whatever you want to call it. And she lives with her father that is a potter with her mother and her younger brother. And so the story begins with Kiri after school 
going to the train station to wait for Suichi. No es Suichi. Su Suichi. Suichi. I'm sorry. I don't know how well to pronounce it, but... Uh, and on the way... So this is the very first story. And on the way, she is surprised by this whirlwind. Can you see? And then she sees in an alley Suichi father uh, in a very strange, strange position looking because she gets closer and she realizes that he's looking quite um, seriously for um, yeah, a snail shell. And she tells this to Suichi when she when he arrives and Suichi, ex Suichi is this one, this young man. And Suichi explains to her that his father has been behaving a bit strangely, that he stopped work working and he's now obsessed with spirals or a spiral pattern. He and his mother discovered that his father has been collecting all, all sorts of objects in a spiral pattern and he's totally um, focused on that and he's neglecting his own family. And after this, oh, uh, and then we have Suichi father going to the house of Kitty, asking Kitty's father, that is, as I said, a potter or a ceramist, and asking him to do a piece with a spiral pattern, as you can see right here. So, this man is Kiri's father. As, and as you can see, he, he is asking him to do um, work in a pattern of a spiral. And after this, oh, as you can see, this is where um, Suichi father keeps his objects. So, and then Suichi, so they, they kind of encounter each other in, in other times and Suichi ki is kind of explaining what has been happening in their house or in his house and all the strange behaviors of his father. So he does things like in the bath, he, he turns, he circles around the water, so the water does a spiral and then he goes in. Stuff like that, as you can see, right, right here. So he does everything in a spiral pattern. And after a while, Suichi is kind of alerting Kiri for these strange coincidences in their town. And for many times, Suichi asks Kiri to run away from the place. And why doesn't she run away with him and go somewhere else? But Kiri doesn't really understand him and she really also doesn't want to get out of their town. And then comes a point that Suichi father um, almost beats his mother because she took away all of the objects in a spiral pattern from the room where he kept them. And so he goes in a frenzy and after that kind of <laughs> really strange things happen. So I'm going to show this. So I'm not kind of worried that um, to do a bit of a spoiler in the story because this is the very first story. 
I'm not going to show you really what happens, but for you to have an idea what to expect from this manga and if you want to read it or not, I'm going to show this you this one. So this is really creepy. <laughs> yeah. And oh, and something that is really strange. I'm going to let me check where I can, what I can show you. So as you can see, this is entering the second chapter, the spiral obsession part two. And as you can see, so the, this here is a chimney and this is the ashes, the, the pattern of the ashes of the chimney. And this is a crematory chimney. After this, many people will die. And so they have the, the, the custom to uh, cremate their, um, the people that pass away. And every single time this pattern will happen surrounding the crematory. And at first people look at it and be re and uh, be really surprised but then it kind of oh again a spiral you know and so after this so yeah I'm not going to tell <laughs> a lot of things after this will happen that surround the spiral pattern and have everything to do with a spiral with a whirlwind and everything in spirals. What can I say? I'm repeating myself, but for you to have a really strong image of what you will find in this manga. It will become a point that you ask yourself, because as I was saying, people will die. And the, the, the community in a whole and Principally, Kiri and Su Suichi will not get out of Kurosu. We wonder, like, because this is a chunk of a book, right? And throughout of this, this will be episodes of different uh, events that will happen surrounding the spiral. And so many things will happen that you, like, ask yourself, what are these people not understanding what is so difficult to see that this town is kind of haunted so what this what these people don't understand so you know it becomes a bit redundant but you will have so much fun reading this and um is not is redundant but is not repetitive you know i don't know if i'm explaining myself so well but I hope you understand what I mean and I'm going to show you here another scene from let me check if I can I'm going to show you the picture of the cover so the front cover that is uh, behind the title and that is this one So this is an episode, I think we can say it, say it like that, of a time where Kiri's hair grown so much and it become, it become erect and in spirals. So this is Kiri and this is another girl in school. So this is Kiri and this is another girl. And they were kind of competing, or at least this girl was because she won so Kiri was the first one to arrive to school like this and everyone made fun of her but as you can see this is a bit in the story right so many things till this point have happened and people still were in the town and didn't get out and students were going to school so a whole thing and this girl wanted the attention that Kiri was getting 
And so she somehow, we don't know really how, but she somehow achieved that her hair did the same thing that Kiri's hair. But we later find out that what was happening to them was that the hair was, was sucking their vital, their vitality. Then Suichi helped Kiri and cut her hair. But this girl, you know, didn't have a so much happy ending. These type of things will happen during and yes, during this manga and you will arrive at some point that you think, well, this time they got it. This time something different will happen. You kind of doubt because some other things began to happen and I will say that they will be followed and at the end you think that our main characters will, you know, well, maybe it's not really advisable for me to say this because maybe you will get where I'm going and I really don't want you to because I don't want to give any spoiler <laughs> about this manga because and I really I'm not going to say what I felt at the end of the story so but I will say that you what can I say really no I can't say it I'm sorry so you really have to read it to find out what happens at the end and I'm not, I'm not going to say the feeling that you get or anything. I, I, re I really can say it. Yeah, this... Oh, and at the end, something that I really enjoyed. Oh, this is the back. Uh, this is the back. So you can see the colorful pages. And at the end you will get um so the story ends uh, come on okay so the story ends and that and then you will have a lost chapter and the lost chapter is called galaxies so i'm going to show you the cover so as you can see and this is an episode really fun. This is the same concept of the others, is surrounding spirals, of course, but m perhaps the author didn't have quite a place to put it in the um, in the full story, so he put it at the end kind of separate. And then you will have uh, afterward that is um The kind of uh, explanation of how the author thought about um, the spiral or how the, the, this concept arrived to his mind. So, as you can see, this is the afterword, as it's said right here. And this is in a manga format as well. So, the author draw himself. And he tells the story of how he was uh, doing research about the spiral and how he contact a supposedly, you know, knowledgeable man about the spiral. But then, this is kind of fun, you know, this is more comic or with more humor than the other stories. Because although the... Every story in Uzumaki is intriguing and, you know, out of this world, so unachievable, <laughs> shall we say. And you can see uh, enjoyment in reading it. It's not so much with the comic sense of timing. It's not for you to laugh, really. Although you, at least I did, I found it 
enjoyable and entertaining but it's not for you to end the, the um, well i think i i laugh sometimes i laugh sometimes or i laughed sometimes but it's not really for that the stories are not laughable you know or but the afterward is really really with much humor so you end you will end the story either with a positive note <laughs> Yeah, so I really advise you to pick this one up and, well, if you are a scary cat, perhaps you will not enjoy it so much because you will have scenes in here and draws in here that are not in a violence type of way, but are graphic and are kind of strange and horrific in a way, but, you know, you have to go to a, a, um, a bookstore and go through the pages and see this is this is for you or not so i can't really say for me this is not really in a high level of horror no this is horror i don't know how well to explain it but this is not violence per se you know what i mean this is more uh, paranormal or strange things are happening you know so yeah okay so I, I wanted to okay I figure out right now I'm going to do a spoiler part bef after this point so if you don't want to know anything about the book before reading it Please pause the video and I see you in the next one. Okay, bye. So now I'm going to talk about the end of the, this manga with spoilers. For those who have read it, please let me know what was your impression of the end of the story. Because I don't know if you were like me or if you were expecting the ending because I wasn't. And I was very disappointed because I thought in my gut, no, 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 they will find a solution for their, pro their problem and they will save at least some people of this town. When they start to flee or when they were trying to get out of Kurozo, I really thought they will achieve that. And then they were surrounding, they were around and around and around. And then her brother turned into a snail. I was really sad when that happened. And I thought, no, they will come back. They will go out. They will, go, they will find help and they will come back. And her brother will be okay and everyone will be okay. This was really my thought. But then when they go back to the town and they go to the center of the lake and they see that is no water and there is stairs, you know that part? <laughs> and they began to get down there and that really right at the end when Suichi goes down and he tells Kiri to go on and see if she can destroy the thing and she says, no, I will be with you. And they swirl around each other. And then the end. I mean, what? Who does that? <laughs> I was with my mouth open. Like, I can't believe this. So, this is a really hopeless story. Like, no help no hope no one got the guts to do something well but at the same time i thought perhaps this is the more realistic ending because i suppose people can't be always the hero and sometimes we don't find solutions for our problems because it is too difficult, it is too overwhelming 
And for one person, because this, this will be the American type of hero, right? One person will solve everything alone, right? And Kiri, I was in that set mind, or that mindset, I'm sorry. And I really thought Kiri would solve the thing somehow. How? I don't know, <laughs> of course. I was hoping the author will do extraordinary turn to make Kiri destroy the thing and the town will go back to how it was before. People will be people again, you know. But then she just gave up at the first try, you know. Suchi said, go on and she, I don't want to leave you. And then she lay down um, uh, aside him and the end I mean <laughs> oh so I suppose the world doesn't have hope we are all doomed and the end of mankind will happen and we will all die and our speech and our speech species will end as well. That's my take on this. But, yeah. <laughs> uh, man, I really thought this was a hero type of story. But So I suppose this is a horror story to the core. And, yeah. But I had a really good time reading this. I didn't take so much to read. Maybe two days. Um, yes, I read slow, so don't judge me, okay? This is a manga, I know, but it took me two days, okay? Or at least two afternoons. I wasn't reading all day uh, the manga, so... Um, and yeah, I... I really, really enjoyed it. So if Tomie or any other work by Junji Ito is like this, I think I will really enjoy it. And I'm really excited to see what type of endings Junji Ito does. But comparing to this one, perhaps all of his endings are all hopeless. So, well, I'm supposing if you want horror, you have to read like a horror genre. You're not expecting to come the hero, hero and solve everything. That will be other type of genres, right? So yeah, I quite enjoyed it. I really have fun reading this. I'm quite excited to read more from Junji Ito. And I'm excited. I'm really excited. So I was sad, I was disappointed, but I got past that really fast, but please, please let me know what are your thoughts? Did you feel like me? Were you expecting it? Did you see it coming? I didn't. So let me know all about it. And well, yeah, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed already. Don't forget to uh, press the ring bell button to all so you can receive all my notifications. Leave a like, it helps a lot the divulgation of the video and the divulgation of the channel. Follow me on Instagram, I'll be posting whenever I have a book review to do or anything else. And I see you on the next one. Bye!